make a lot of videos where I talk about books and there's all kinds of different books for different math subjects. However, in this video, I want to focus on three subjects in particular, probability and statistics, linear algebra, and calculus. What are some good resources that you can use to learn these subjects? This video is inspired and mainly in response to a very brief email that I received from a subscriber from India. The person's name is Guru Prasad, and the subject is Request for Names of Books. I am from India. I really want to learn one, probability and statistics, two, linear algebra, three, calculus. I beg you, please suggest me some good books to start learning and get to an advanced level. So I did some work, I did some searching. It took me quite a lot of time because I have such a large collection of math books and they're not organized. And I don't think I'm ever going to organize them because it's, no, I'm just gonna leave them scattered. <laughs> but emails like this take me a little bit longer to reply to because I have to find specific books that I think will be really good for beginners and will take you very, very far in each subject. So let's first start with one, which is probability and statistics. So I finally found a copy. I actually have three copies. Uh, one's like a condensed version and I have two different editions, but I found this one. This one is Mathematical Statistics with Applications. This is a book which is fairly inexpensive. I don't know how easy it is to get in India, but in the US you can find used copies really, really cheap. I'm pretty sure I paid less than $10 for this book. This is a book on mathematical statistics, okay? So it's something that you can use to learn statistics and probability, but at a more advanced level. The prereq for reading a book like this normally is knowing some calculus. Typically you have to take the calculus sequence before you can jump into this because there are certain chapters in this book that require calculus. But you can get through a lot of it without knowing any calculus and you can actually learn the mathematics behind the statistics. I personally use this book to take two courses as an undergrad on statistical theory, which are basically like the hardest courses a stats major takes. So if you are a statistics major, the hardest courses you're going to take are pretty much statistical theory one and two or mathematical statistics, same thing. I actually had a friend uh, in college who was a stats major and he had a 4.0 until he took a class using this exact book. And he ended up getting C's in both classes and struggling because there are some little baby proofs and if you're not good at proof writing, um, you know, it can be tough. So great book. I recommend this to anyone who wants to learn probability and statistics the correct way. There's easier books on statistics, there's easier books on probability, but this one is wonderful. And I have, I have other ones, but I think this one, this one in particular is extremely good. And as always, I'll leave links in the description to these books in case you want to check them out. So yeah, awesome book. Two, you mentioned linear algebra. So there's all kinds of books on linear algebra. You have the books that are based on computational linear algebra with some proofs, and then you have the proof-based ones. So I've chosen one that is widely used, widely available. And again, in the US, it's really cheap. I don't know about India, but chances are you might be able to get it. It's Elementary Linear Algebra by Anton. This is one that I think is wonderful. And the reason I think that is because the content is very standard. So if you're going to college and you're gonna take linear algebra in college, this is going to go uh, along really well with what you study in class. So you can do exercises from this book for practice and that'll help you in your class. Wonderful book. It is for beginners, so it's a place to start. The prereq is just a willingness to learn. So if you're ready to learn linear algebra, I think that this is a great choice to have. And if I had to pick one book, which, which I did, <laughs> this is it. So worth it, worth it, great book. I love this book. This is not the book I used when I was a student, but I really wish I would have used it because it's wonderful. And lastly, you mentioned calculus. So I picked this one because I know that I have some subscribers from India who have mentioned this book. So I'm assuming it's available in India. It's Thomas Calculus, so I'm pretty sure this is used in India. So Thomas Calculus, this book here, is actually a book that um, was 
called Calculus and was written by a man named George Thomas. And he passed away, but the book continued to be revised and revised. This one in particular is the 13th edition. There's multiple editions and it doesn't really matter uh, which one you use, but it's pretty much equivalent to like Stuart Calculus or Larson's Calculus or Calculus by Stein or Swakowski. It's one of those big thick calculus books. However, I do believe that in India, you should be able to, to find copies of this. And as always, I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. So those are three great books that I think you can use to learn probability and statistics, linear algebra, and calculus. Those are my three picks, I think. If I had to pick one book for each subject for a person who is just starting out, that's a good choice. Now there's other great books. Really, you can use any book, but you requested names in your email. You specifically said request for names of books. So I just wanted to make this this quick video to make you aware of it. Also, there's courses. I have courses on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on Udemy, but check out my website, mathsorcerer.com. And if you use those links, you'll get a low price. I've got courses on calculus and stuff and other things that you can take to learn these subjects. But I do recommend the books, uh, especially because you can get them used. And yeah, they'll, they will help you a lot. If anyone else has advice for how to learn probability and stats or you know, calculus or linear algebra, leave a comment in the comment section below. When you leave comments, it helps other people. Also, Guru Prasad, make, make sure that, you know, when you, when you get the books, make sure that you actually, you know, use them. So my advice would be to, you know, sit down every day with a piece of paper and a pencil and try to do at least, at least one problem a day. I mean, if you can do at least one problem a day, you're doing something, right? It's like you've conquered the day. That's, that's the way I look at it, you know? Maybe wake up every morning and do, you know, one problem, at least one problem. And that's your math for the day. If you can do more and you have time to do more, do more. But I feel like doing a little bit of math every day can take you a very long way. It really will. It'll take you far, really far. And the books aren't perfect. You're, you're going to get stuck. Out of all three books, I think that the, that mathematical statistics book, this one, is extremely... It's way more challenging than the other ones, but I think that this one has content in it that you're gonna have a hard time finding another book. Like there's other books like this. I have a, another one uh, by Rice and I have a couple others, but I, I do think that this one is good. Also, this one has answers in the back of the book to some of the exercises. And if you do a lot of research, you can find, um, you can find solutions manuals uh, for this book, which would have like worked out answers to uh, some of the problems. I actually have another edition of this book and I have the corresponding solutions manual. And that's what I used when I studied uh, mathematical statistics. So yeah, this one just has answers to some of the problems you can see here. But if you get the, the student solutions manual, it will give you um, full solutions to some of the problems. Not all of them, but some of them. And it'll help guide you through it. So really good resource for learning probability and stats. I, I really think it's one of the best. And I know that there's all kinds of other books people recommend for probability and stats, but honestly, that's real mathematics, that's real statistics, and you're gonna learn a lot of really good math and stats in a book like that. It's solid. It's the real deal. Getting goosebumps. I love that book. I've, I've, I've read significant portions of this book because I used it for, for two courses, for two courses, and I've done a ton of the exercises, so um, I have a lot of memories with this uh, behemoth of a book. It's pretty thick for a stats book. Well, probability and stats, and it's calculus based. So if you're an engineering major and you're taking like stats, like engineering statistics, that's gonna be awesome. And it's probably gonna be better than your engineering stats book. It's probably gonna help you more because it's really good, really good. Anyways, if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe. If not, that's okay too. Key takeaway from this video is, those are the names of three good books for probability and stats, calculus, and linear algebra. Keep doing mathematics.